With Homeseer, you can create some very powerful events based on the changing status or value of the products that you have installed in your home. For example, you can create events that are triggered when motion is sensed, or when the temperature goes above or below a certain point, or when a door is locked or unlocked. These are all based on real products that you have installed in your home. But occasionally, you might have the need to create an automation event that includes the changing status or value of something that isn't actually installed in your home. For example, you might want your home to behave differently when you're away from the house or when you're on vacation. So how do you do that? You do that by creating virtual devices and then adding those virtual devices to your events. Let me show you how. The first step is to click the little plus sign up at the top of the page to add a new device. You'll be prompted to name the device. In this case, I'm going to simply call it Occupancy Status and then submit that. The location attributes typically are defined as floor and room. Since this is not actually going to be in a physical location, it's not terribly important that you put them in a specific floor or room, but you can create a new entry like virtual status, as I've done here. And then I've also created another entry called device for the second location attribute. Go ahead and click done. The device management page will now appear. To filter out all of the product devices, just go into the room filter here, uncheck everything, and then just check device. And in my case, it's only going to show the virtual devices that I've created. In the listing, I'm going to find occupancy status. Give it a click. That'll take us to the configuration screen. From here, click on status graphics. This then is the screen where we can redefine the values and the status graphics that are associated with this new virtual device. On and off are the default status values and graphics that you're going to find here. We need to change those to home, to away, and to on vacation. So we need three different values. Here's how to make that change. Step one is to click into the first value here that's set to zero. We're going to change this to a value of one. So just give it a click. A pop-up window will appear. You can enter one in and then submit. Now, that value is currently associated with off. We need to change that text string to home. Now click into the second value, which is currently set to 100. We're going to change that to 2. And then we're going to change on to away. Now we need to create a third value. So click the button below to add a third value. By default, it's 0. We're going to change it to 3. And then we're going to change the text to vacation. This will take care of the text attributes for our new virtual device. Our next step is to delete the status graphics that are currently here. And we're going to change those with status graphics that reflect home, away, and vacation. So click the button here to add a new graphic. Then click the Edit button to pop up the uh, file picker. From the file picker, go to the Home Seer folder and then go to the Contemporary folder for our contemporary icons. We have contemporary icons already pre-created for home, for away, and for vacation, so this should make things simple for you. If you're doing a different kind of a virtual device and you have different values that you want to use, you may need to create your own. Okay, so what we're doing here is we're associating home to the value of 1, which up in the top section is the text value for home. Now we want to create a second graphic value for away, and we're going to assign a contemporary away icon to that value. Once again, scroll to the Home Seer Contemporary Icons folder, look for away. Go ahead and select that, and there you go. Create one more value. This is going to be for vacation. Again, vacation should be a value of 3. Click the Edit button from the File Picker. Go back into the same folder. And at the bottom of the list, you're going to find an icon that represents vacation. Now at this point, you can return to the Device Management page and find your new virtual device. There will be three buttons there for Home, Away, and Vacation. You can click on each button just to determine that the status icon and text are properly changing. 
Now let me show you how easy it is to use this new virtual device with an event. Go to the View menu, go down to Events, and we'll open up the Events area. Once you get here, go ahead and open up one of your groups and click on the plus sign to create a brand new event. I'm going to name this event Turn Lights On When Motion Is Sensed and Occupancy Status Is Vacation. Now submit the name and we're going to create the trigger for this event. So the trigger is going to be a motion sensor sensing motion. That is a device value change. Go ahead and select that using the trigger menu and trigger modifier menu. And choose your motion sensor and choose the value of motion. Now we're going to add a condition to this event. And the condition for this event is that the occupancy status virtual device is set to vacation. So walk through the drop down menus, find the virtual device, change the status to vacation, and that will set our condition. The final step is to add an action to our event. So we're going to control the device, locate the device that you want to control in the list, and set it to on, and that completes our event. Now anytime you make a change to that occupancy status device, that will have an impact on this event.